Hello guys, Revit was here. Today I'm going to show you how to create reinforcing in a curved concrete beam. So if you want to find out how to do this, please stay tuned. Okay guys, let's start by just drawing in a beam. So we can go to structure, beam. Here you can obviously choose any size concrete beam. Then I'm going to just go to the top here and say start in the radius. So I'll click on that and then I'll select the start point of the beam, the end point, and then whatever radius you require. So I'm just going to do that radius, just a random radius. Then we can go into 3D just to view it better while we're working on this. So now to start doing your rebar, just highlight your beam press rebar and just say okay so now what we want to do is we want to select the freeform rebar make sure that's selected and the aligned because we want to do our stirrup first okay then what we'll do is we'll choose the rebar size you can obviously change that afterwards if you want to change the rebar size again then the workshop instructions we want it as a bent bar the bar alignment we want aligned to the path and then the style we want it as a stirrup okay then stirrup slash tie attachment we can just keep that as is then the hook at start i'm just going to put at 90 degrees and the hook at end also at 90 degrees then here at the top the layout i wanted maximum spacing at 200 all right, so now that we've done that, you can see that it says here on the screen, select host surface. So basically the host surface would be each face of this concrete beam because we want the stirrup to be drawn from each face. So how you can easily select all four faces is you just highlight the beam like that. And you press space on your keyboard and then what you want to do is select the path so select the outer radius of this beam you just click on it and you press enter and there you can see it has drawn in our stirrup for us that was quite quick and effective so now what we want to do is draw in the top and bottom bars so how we can do that is more or less the same principle or steps. So we click on this beam, say rebar, instead of aligned, choose surface. Then once again, you can choose your rebar size. Let's just make that Y16. Then the workshop instructions, instead of bent, we want to keep it straight. The style, we want standard and not stirrup. And then the hook at start. Sorry, that one. We can. I'm just gonna make it 90 degrees standard, and also 90 degrees. You can obviously change that to whatever you'd like. Then yeah, the layout. I want fixed number, and let's say I want three of them. Okay. So now it says on the screen again, select host surface. So now, because we want to draw in the bars at the top of the beam, we need to select the top surface because we want the bars to host from that surface. So click the top surface, press space bar, and then it's asking us select the start face. So the start face would be either this left side or the right side of the beam. But I like working from the outside to the inside. So let's select the outer edge and press space. And then the inner edge would be our end surface because it says they select end surface i'll click that and i'll press space bar again and then i'll just press enter on the keyboard and there you can see we have drawn in our top bars the same we can do for the bottom so let's just repeat that everything is still fine we just want to change the hook again hook at end 90 degrees and now we just want to make sure we select the bottom host, press spacebar, then press start surface and end surface. 
and enter and there you have your bars and now just to distinguish between the bars sizes you can just quickly create filters for yourself so you press vv on your keyboard to get that visibility graphics then i'll just say new and i'll call this a white 10 and i'll go down to the structural rebar and here i'll choose type name equals to and i just look for the white 10 there you go and i'll say apply then i want to just duplicate this because i want to create a white 12 rename it and just go and select a white 12 and i'll say apply and okay then go down and just press control on your keyboard to select both and say okay then here you can just change your color i'm just gonna make it maybe green and the other one red so you can see the difference between the two and okay this is actually y16 let me just change it to y12 so you can see y12 they changed the color of the rebar so guys that is how quick and easy you can do a curved beam rebar so if you find this content or this video helpful please give it a like and i would appreciate if you like and subscribe so i can make more content like this for you guys and please feel free to leave a comment if you want me to elaborate on a certain area that you are maybe struggling with and once again thank you for all your support i'll see you in the next one cheers guys